Hello and welcome to another episode of Audio Based Content, an improv comedy podcast. I'm your host, Aaron V. Felder. On this show, friends come over and do long form improv scenes with me. On today's episode, I am joined by Secret Handshake, which consists of Molly Kemp and Ed Garcia, as we present to you two adolescents in a principal's office. Mary, Gary, I'm. Just so tired of seeing you in this office. Well, okay. listen, me me and Mary just like destroying whatever classroom we're in. Okay, principal? Yeah. We just can't but, help it. We see a tidy room and we just got to take it apart. Principal Weathers, you we're guys sorry. are 17 years old. Yeah. Collectively, you've caused upwards of $800,000 worth of property damage to this school. 800,000? That's a new record, Gary. Yeah, that's pretty good, Mary. Yeah, the old record was $52. So, yeah, it's a new record. Well, Principal Weathers, here's the thing. We just we just want to stick it to the man. Well, who's the man? Am I the man? Some days, yeah. But some days there's other people who's the man who's above you. I feel like us taking the blame is just a, a scapegoat of sorts. Because the real question is, who would leave the keys in a running bulldozer outside of the high school? Yeah, that's well, that's just irresponsible. Well, now listen, come on. You know that, that Jeffrey, the groundskeeper, has that Crohn's disease, and he's got to run inside every now and then, and... And go to the bathroom. I'm just saying that maybe Jeffrey could still be responsible even if he has Crohn's disease. There's a lot of people who got that. Yeah, but people get in a panic. No, not if you have Crohn's disease. You had it your whole life. Sometimes you just poop your pants and you accept it. So you're saying he could have taken the keys out? Yeah. Because that's what he told me and I just let him go. I didn't even punish him. Are you saying that he could have easily Is this because we're twins? Is this actually because we're twins? Is this Why disc- would it be because you're twins? What is that? Discrimination. It's discrimination. It's discrimination. Twin discrimination. Twin discrimination. No. Are you sure? Because it certainly seems that way. Is it, it wouldn't be the first time we've experienced no, this no, no. kind of... Look, Clark and Mark are never in here. Clark and Mark are never in here. And they're twins. Well, that's because they're identical twins. We're fraternal mm-hmm. twins. Mm-hmm. So what, you think I have a very specific prejudice against fraternal twins? It certainly seems that way. Clark and Mark are never in here. Clark and Mark don't destroy the property. Mm-hmm. That's why they're not. Listen, you know you destroy the property. Yep. You were just bragging about how much money it cost us. Yeah, we... we. And yet, to be fair, we weren't bragging. We were just impressed at the figure that we had achieved. A, it, did you know that we are no longer have a basketball team? Yeah, even better. It's Stick it to the man. because of you two. Stick it to the man. Are you saying that it's the budget cut because of the damage done, or was yes. that the basket? Okay, cool. Because I didn't think the people inside looked like a basketball team. It was just our history class. Yeah. Well, and after you guys destroyed the, the hoops for the basketball team, we couldn't, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we couldn't afford new hoops. Well, look, I like to dunk it. Is that a what problem? What were you dunking? A bowling ball? There were dents in the floor. Yeah, there. I was dunking a couple bowling balls. I was up. I was up on Mary's shoulders. My, I, and I was trying to. I was trying to shack every single one of with those a bowling boards. ball. I just want to interest in sidebar. That's actually how yes. we were birthed. Gary came out first, and his what? little legs were clinging around my neck. So ever since that, it's a way that we just feel closer together. Yeah. He was strangling you with his feet? No, not purposely. It now, was I like was trying a, to bring her out with me. I didn't want to go without her. It's like an upside down piggyback it, ride. It sounds like he had you in some sort of leg lock. Yeah, some people would ca- call it an Indian death lock, but it was uh, to the neck. Who would of call legs. it that? A professional wrestler. Ric Flair would probably call it that. Ric Flair? Yeah, Ric Fl- Have you heard of him? Woo! No, I haven't. Seems like you have, actually, because you just did his thing. That's what do you, his sound. That's his sound. What is his thing? Uh, the thing you just did. Woo! Yeah, that one. Mary's a Charlotte Flair fan. Yep. All right, all right. Well, no. 
Now, you see, this is what you guys do. Every time I get you in this office, you distract me. We talk about you, wrestling. You, you berail me. Yeah, we berail you. <laughs> That's not even. We put him on a rail, and we're going to run him I out of his derailed. office. I've been derailed. I've been derailed. A railed, B railed, C railed, and D railed. It's a big difference between a B and a D. I know. One will get you to work on time. The other will make you late. That's true. That's true. Well, can we go now? No. Oh. Listen, the the school board has told me to expel you two. I double dog dare you to do it. To expel you? I bet you won't. Your mother has called and begged me. Not to expel either of you. <laughs> Good old mama. Good old mama. Always can count on her. She make you cry? She did make me cry. What was it? What do you mean? Was it like a was it like a sympathetic cry or was it like she hurt your feelings cry? Like was it real ugly cry? Like could you catch your breath or was it just like a teardrop dripping down your face? Is that what these Kleenex are for? Do you like were you like were you like Got snot coming out of your nose because you crying? I mean, I did have snot coming out of my nose. It started as a teardrop, and it turned into a full-fledged cry. All right. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry our mama did that to you. I, I'm not. Well, I found it quite healing, actually. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm not sorry. I retract my apology. But now she, she thinks there's something I can do to make you guys straighten up and fly right. I bet you can't. It's been 17 years. She's been trying everything. Nothing worked. Mm-hmm. We've been, we've been destroying a room in our house as practice. Yep. She sent what? us off to summer what? camp jail one time. Yeah. What? It was summer camp work. jail. Summer camp jail. Yeah. Basically, oh, no, we just no, no. We spent three weeks out on a canoe in the middle of a lake. Mm-hmm. Out on a canoe breaking rocks. What does that even mean? We smash the rocks together on the canoe into and then, smaller rocks, and then we That's throw right. them at fish. That's how we ate. Oh, my God. You actually caught fish by throwing rocks at them. Not the first time. Yeah, or the second time. But after a lot of practice. You get good. See, that's how you can be at school. I don't follow. That's how you can be at school. Treat your homework as a rock that you're throwing at a fish. Well, who's the fish in this scenario? The teacher. So we throw our homework at our teacher. No, no. Is this a metaphor? Is this a metaphor? I feel yes. like you're always is, so good at English, Mary. Uh, thank you, thank you. I feel I just well, feel not, like we shouldn't be getting we shouldn't marks. we shouldn't be getting English lessons from Mister B Rail over here. Yeah, yeah. Principal Weathers, it's a slip of the tongue. Principal Weathers, all due respect, you're not a teacher, so I don't see why you're trying to teach I us was a life a teacher. lesson. I was a teacher for twenty years. Well, you had to quit for some reason. No, I got promoted. I became a principal. Why did you quit being a teacher, Mr. Weathers? Do you not love because kids? No, I deal with even more kids. Mm. You just use As the word the deal with. Yes. We're not like a deck of cards or like a little flock of chickens or nothing. Well, I just meant uh, I, I, in a professional manner. Is there, was there, we weren't suggesting there was an unprofessional manner going on. What well, happened no, before just, you I became a mean, principal? I didn't mean deal in any negative connotation. They don't make you principal from a teacher if you do something wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Have you ever heard about people getting promoted to the level of least competence? No, never. Sometimes you just, you, you leave a job that you're really good at and you get promoted to a job that you're not as good at, but they can't fire you. Because they promoted you. Listen, I'm going to be real honest with you. Maybe you belong as a teacher because you're not a very good principal. You did $800,000 worth of damage. I'm going to be real honest with both of you. I need you guys out of this school. Okay? The only way that's going to happen is if you graduate this spring. Otherwise, it's another year. And then another year... Yeah, we are we are uh, springtime babies. I like how expulsion's already off the table. Mm-hmm. Good oh, job, Mama. I Good old it. Mama. For uh, what it's worth, in the time you've been talking, I managed to handcuff ourselves to the chairs, so we're not leaving in case you do change your mind about expulsion. Unless you wheel us out with your chairs. It's true. Then but we get to keep cha- the chairs. Those are loose chairs. They're not attached to anything. That yeah. hence the wheels. 
Yeah, I mean. Well, and you can just, you know, stand up and even All right, drag it's actually, it. I really like the chairs. Yeah. Don't take the chairs. That'd be even more. How expensive are these chairs? I don't, I don't know. You would have to ask my, the, my, the secretary or the mm. treasurer. School has a treasurer? That's right. I'd assume, it was like an account- I'd assume it was an accountant or something. Or are you talking about the student elected treasurer? Well, no, they don't buy the chairs. I call all accountants treasurers. Oh, yeah. It's just something I do. You're a lot older than I thought, Prince, Principal Weathers. Thank you. Yeah. I have You're had welcome. some work done. Principal Weathers, do you have kids? I do. I have grandchildren. How many? Grandchildren or children? Why'd you skip to the grandchildren? Because he doesn't like his kids, probably. Probably doesn't like no, his kids. No, I just, I'm proud. Do you proud. not like kids? I'm proud. He's proud of the grandchildren, but not of the kids. I am proud, proud of my kids. They gave me the <gasps> grandchildren. He probably has fraternal twins. Oh, I see. It's all coming together now. I Isn't don't it? have fraternal twins. You, you don't or you do? I do not. You don't? You, so said, you sound like you're proud of that. So what this you, twin bigotry, where did it come from? It's wild. It's hurtful. Listen, my uncles are twins. That's that's what people who actually hate fraternal, twins fraternal would say. Fraternal twins. It's like, oh, I got a My I best a friend, friend is a twin. a twin. We've heard everything. We've heard it all. I you know don't have. I we've don't been have twin discriminated against for too long. I don't have any problem with twins. We've been twin discriminated against for too long. Twin discriminated. That's you know our shorthand like? for it. That doesn't it. even make sense. Do you know what it's like to have someone ask you how old you are, and then they ask your brother how old he is, and then they ask, "Are you twins?" But they look at you real squinty like because you don't look alike, and then they kind of start doubting you, and they want to look at your license, and you're like. Why do you need to look at my license? Why isn't my word not good enough? And I'm like, am I under arrest? Hmm. And then they're like, no, I'm not a police officer. And I'm just like, well, I'm going to break something of yours now. Cause you what? Bro- what do you mean? Because they broke my heart by not trusting my sister. It's only fair. It's only fair. Well, I'm very sorry that you guys have that experience. I truly am. But there's no reason to bring that into these walls and take it out. On your school. Technically, we, t- we, we, we brought it outside, and then it happened to come it, into inside. the school. It was taken into the school. It's not as school. though that was the first incident. Yeah, but it was the first major. The other one was $52. No, no, no. I just meant total that one person has caused to the budget. Oh. Uh, well, oh, so we count as one person now, huh? That. Just because we have the same birthday doesn't mean we're the same person. The exact same genes. That's not what I meant. I meant associated. Look, even if I divide it into $400,000 either way, it's still the most. Do you know what it's like to get hand-me-down clothes that came from the twins down the street? And you try to fit into them thinking that we should both fit into these clothes because that's what they thought. But nope, I'm the fat twin. I'm the skinny twin. So one of us has clothes that's too tight. And one of us has clothes that's too loose. <laughs> well, look, I'm very, very sorry about about that, okay? That... Uh, you know what, but you can go to the, you don't have to wear these hand-me-downs from down the street. You can go to a store. You don't understand. We do have to wear these hand-me-downs. It just hurts me so much to have to remember <laughs> how loose your clothes are and how, how tight, tight my clothes are. are. Why don't you trade the clothes? Or are they the same the size? Same size <laughs> oh, I do understand. It does seem like we should just well, trade the clothes, but we tried that. Well, listen and to this. That hurts me even more to think about. <laughs> With my my two children, who are well, not who are not twins, twins, so it's not, not twins. really applicable. No, but one who is fat, <laughs> if I say, and the other is skinny. <laughs> and uh, maybe you can have their clothes. <laughs> All right. We were. Principal Weathers. What is wrong with you? We weren't asking for charity, Principal Weathers. We're just, yeah, we don't we don't want you to solve our problems. Sometimes we just want somebody to listen. What is it oh. with what is it with men of a oh. certain age 
who are always what? wanting to what? solve your problems instead of just listen to your emotional honesty is all I'm asking. Look at look at that poster on the wall. It, yeah, says, it says problem solver. Oh, the other one. <laughs> yes, I bought the one poster. I just couldn't look away I, from the camera. I know you weren't lucky you were blowing your nose. <sighs> You know, problem solving is not the most important thing in this life. Sometimes you need empathy. Sometimes someone doesn't want their problem solved. Especially not by an old white man. Sometimes when you got what? deep emotional hurt, you just want to hijack a bulldozer and drive it into a history class. Now, what do you mean? What's this deep emotional hurt? I feel like you have not been listening this entire Wait, it's all time. the twin thing? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, this is our entire existence. How dare you? You walk a mile in our I'm four so, I'm shoes. I'm sorry, I am. I, 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 Try and put all four of our shoes on. I dare oh, you. Okay, well, well, what can the what can the school do to be more accommodating to, 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 to twins such as yourself? Well, first of all, you could have some unisex bathrooms. Yeah, we don't like to be separated. Never. Not I, even for I a really moment. I really don't think the school board is going to allow me to have unisex bathrooms. That's why I grapevine my legs around her neck when we were coming out of the womb. That's, I don't... Because I knew we were going to pee the first second we got out there, and I just, I was just like, not alone, not again. Wait, does that mean you peed right on her head? <laughs> yeah, of course. And then later on, I'll let her pee on my head. You, so wait, I'm told. Wait a minute, but when you are a newborn baby, I understand. Acts, you know, it's an act of uh, nature. You're peeing on her head, but you're saying later you consciously let her pee on your head. Fair's fair. We do everything evensies around here, even though we're fraternal My twins. We're, we what, have equal rights. What? What is your home life like? What is your mother doing and your father? Oh, our father. Poor daddy. What, 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 what's going on? He's dead. Oh, he's, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I suppose I should have opened this file that's on my desk instead of just leaving it closed. <laughs> yes. It's a huge file, by the way. It's very big. It's a, that's why I didn't read it. It's a, it's a lot. It's probably because the reason it's so big is because it's for two students. <laughs> I wish we could just have our own file. I'm so sorry that they put it in one file folder. I don't, that, once again, it's an issue to take up with my secretary. And believe you me, I will. Why are you, why are you putting this off on your secretary? I don't understand why it's got to be her fault. The buck has to stop somewhere, Principal Weathers. Well, when you're in a position of power, it's what you do. And that's why we want to stick it to the man. Oh, ah. Gotcha. Well, I just I suppose, realized but, something. What's that? Is, is Secretary Truney and Treasurer Truney actually related? Yes. Because they don't look anything alike, but I just... Maybe one of them's adopted. Or maybe they're fraternal twins. Can't be. They've been working for this guy. Yeah, he what? wasn't a hot. You think you he would have hired? I don't Colonel have Pence? any problem with Richard Wayne. Why are we in your office? Technically, all the time? she was hired by my predecessor. Mm. Anyway, uh, I guess I'm cool with graduating in the spring. If yes. you're cool with graduating in the spring, just, yeah, just right. please don't break anything else. I and, can't and promise that. Well, can you keep, can you at least keep the breakage to items that are worth less than $500? Do you, uh, do you have an appraiser on staff how or something? How much does a chalkboard cost? A whole chalkboard? Like, like one of the big ones, but also one of the little ones, just for comparison. Well, the chalkboard costs about $500, but I tell you what, if you, if you're going to break a chalkboard, can you make it one on the third floor? Because I've been trying to get the board to replace those. Yeah, there's no reason for a school in 2019 to have chalkboards anymore. I know, it's anymore. ridiculous. Well, like I said, we can't afford a lot of normal improvements because we have to spend a lot of money cleaning up your messes. I'm just saying, you guys should have been able to improve those long before we got here. We're only 17 years old. Most of my friends who are, who are out of the district, they got smart boards or at least dry erase. Can can we at least look? We don't even have projectors. We got those. We got those ones that you have to lay the transparent sheets on. Yeah, I know where they light they a flip. candle the and overhead. they put it inside. Yeah, there's a little bird in there in case the, the gas, the pilot light is on. 
Yeah, well, it's true. We don't have much money. We're a poor, poor school. If you had unisex bathrooms, you could save on bathrooms. No, we'd have to build the unisex bathroom. No, you or just you could turn knock... one into the Which unisex. Which one would we get rid of? The boys or the girls? It doesn't matter. The boys. Turn... All right. <laughs> and then turn that into a classroom. So it... it's a boys and anyone else who wants to bathroom. I don't think you understand the concept of a, a unisex, unisex bathroom. bathroom. Yes, but my point it is, is there's a unisex bathroom and a girl's bathroom. No, the unisex bathroom is one you're able to go in regardless of gender so, sit on the toilet and hold hands hold on so you get door. rid of both bathrooms the boys and the girls Prin- bathrooms principal weathers could you just pardon my french but shut up for a moment Woo. i just i want to i want to relate i want to make an offer to you actually um you're not i don't think you're picking up what uh my sister is putting down but i'm gonna say this why not take advantage of our skills of destruction? Mm. Get us in a bulldozer, knock we'll down the, the bathroom, knock down the walls between the bathrooms. Oh. Well, how are you going to get the bulldozer Instantly into the bathroom? The to knock down the wall. We'll go down the hallway. It's not going to fit through the door. We'll knock down the door. Wider doors. Problem solved. It always we, takes me fifteen minutes no. to get into my first class. No, these are terrible, terrible ideas. Because the door's not wide enough. Yeah. Of course, they're terrible ideas. We're at the worst school in the county. And you know who I blame for that? The man. The mm-hmm. man? Mm-hmm. Up top. Up top. The Don't. man. It's not the man. It's, if anything, it's you two. Mm. Mm. Sounds like twin discrimination to me. Twin we keep getting articles written about us in the paper, and people don't want to send their children here. People move away. That's not our fault. Yeah, it's not our fault. Every one of those in- articles mentions you two by name. I feel like that's led to an increase in excitement at this school, actually. Yeah. There's an ec- economist visiting from the uh, university up in the city. I think it's And he's e- doing a study on it's you guys e- causing blight. It's an economist Principal Weathers. What did I say? An economist. A economist. You should take advantage of the English class we got here. Now listen, this is, I pronunciate things funny. That's all. Yeah, it's not nice to make fun of his his speech difficulties. Did you no. take speech class when you were in school, no. Principal Weathers? Why not? Oh, maybe you should have. When I was in, when I was your age, I was uh, mostly taking shop in algebra. For a moment, I thought you said shots, and I was just yeah. like, it makes it's sense. Probably why. He failed, he failed upwards. No. Shots like booze? Is that what you were playing? Yeah, m- well, maybe. We don't talk about gun violence while we're in these holy walls. Yeah, we don't talk about guns in this school. No. I don't know a single thing about a gun. Nope. I've never <sighs> even, I can't even imagine what a gun looks like. Mm-mm. I've heard Thank the word. God. It's like a normally, tube that makes noise. I think normally I think children should learn about guns, but you two, I don't. Yeah, it's like You're the tube. best argument for gun control I've ever seen. Why is that? You assume we're You're destructive. Okay. So That's guns why. destroy things is what he's telling us. No, mm-hmm. they're tools. Anyway, listen. Can you stop? Graffiti, I know it's you guys. Graffiti yeah, we do sign on the our name. outside of the school every time we paint over it. Mm-hmm. Next mm-hmm. day it's back. Every time. I and I saw you meeting with the painters, the painters company. I saw that. Were you talking to them? We were just asking them, can you please not paint over our art? It's an expression of our pain and oneness. We draw your art? Yeah, we, we, we uh draw each other's bodies with each other's faces. Yeah. It's kind of like Banksy. Mm-hmm. How is that like Banksy? Because he paints on walls he's not supposed to. <laughs> I just don't. I don't. I, I mean, I, I felt like it's pretty obvious that that he's our he's our muse. He's our inspiration for this, and that's why we want to stick it to the man. Well, Banksy's making a statement, and we're making a, a statement. statement. What's the statement? Fraternal twin lives matter. Mm-hmm. Well, of Unlike, course they matter. It doesn't seem like it. No, of course they do. But we can't do unisex bathrooms. Is there anything else? I just don't see why. I gave you a perfectly reasonable idea. The community will not allow it. 
well, maybe our community has got other problems and that shouldn't be hoisted upon us. No, not all fraternal twins are 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 are, 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 are boy or girl. How are you going to tell? How are you going to tell us our story, Principal mm-hmm. Weathers? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm just saying, and frankly, some identical twins. Did you say twins. Anne Frankly? frankly? <laughs> Did you say Anne Frankly? You're trying to invoke a poor dead woman's name to make a point about discrimination. Listen, unisex bathrooms wouldn't just benefit us. It benefit people who don't like going into the boys' bathrooms and staring I'm at just, urinals. I have a feeling that if I put unisex bathrooms in there, I'll be getting a lot of calls from a lot of little girls' parents. Why? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I follow. They're very obsessed with bathrooms, these parents around these parts. But maybe and who's be- allowed in what bathroom? I get calls for no reason. Well, just, maybe that's just part of your job. Who are you letting in the ladies' room? They'll say these deranged parents. Well, I don't, well, but maybe we should knock down the ladies' room then, and turn the boys into a unisex and the girls into a classroom, or another gym. You could turn the toilet seats That's into basketball, basketball hoops. hoops. That's way too low. There's no challenge in that game. We didn't say you have to leave them on that level. And there's also a lot of short kids in our school. That's not true. that short. Not <laughs> six inches. They are they are a lot of malnourished children in our school who only subsist on free lunch and breakfast. That's very Principal sad. Weathers, we're in an economically challenged area. I know, and, I know this, and I know you're saying you're going to get calls from the unisex bathrooms, and you're going to get calls from us making an open air classroom. I thought but you said a basketball court. Both. It could be both. You could learn in a basketball court. I, I like to think that any area could be a classroom if we really tried. No, no. But well, now, no, here, Principal Weathers, oh. I know you're saying you're going to get calls, but sometimes doing the right thing is worth a few calls. Mm-hmm. You ever think about that? But, uh, you know who taught me that? Who? The Bible. Really? <laughs> Not like the Holy Bible, but like a well, Bible. Then which one? Which one? one I wrote. You wrote your own Bible? The that fraternal, is sacrilegious. The fraternal twin Bible. How dare you? It's not what? sacrilegious to write to write a thing. Oh, wait. A, a, it's more of a manifesto, I suppose. Oh, okay. Well, well, now that sounds frightening. <laughs> did, In the beginning, you? there were the two. Yeah. It, so did both of you write it, or of course, we of both course. Wrote oh, it. well, you, you kept saying I. We well, wrote it at the same time. I held a pen in my right hand. I held a pen in my left hand, and we just met in the middle. Oh, my God. That's, I got to write the ending. That's beautiful. See what you're missing by your twin discrimination? I, do, I don't have twin discrimination. I appreciate right, that you I thought twins. we were making progress. It's, but not, it's, not about, it's not something you have. It's just like a, a systematic structure that is mm-hmm. being foisted upon us. Because we don't have unisex bathrooms. No, no. No, I, it's just the twin discrimination is just well, ever what, present there, in the system. And you benefit another, from a system uh, that, is, that is prejudiced against us and mm-hmm. is also prejudiced against other people. Unpack your singularity backpack, Mr. Weathers. Is singularity, is that a term for people that are not twins? Yeah. Well, it's a term for people who are born alone, because some people aren't twins, but they're also not born alone. Okay, well, now I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. What about twins Mm -hmm. that are born alone? What? Like a like a child is born, Uh and then another child is not born for like three hours. That's Three still, hours? That seems ludicrous. It still still counts as twins, though. Exactly, but they are but not. Bo- but they are born alone. Listen, we're not here to gatekeep twins. They were gestated alone. I'm uh, gestated. Yeah. Is that bad. Conceived. Okay, yes. Conceived alone. What? What about? And uh, this might be an offensive question. We kind but, of expect it from you at this well, point. Well, I don't. I really want to educate myself on on twins and how I can make the school more comfortable for you. Your your, so, your words say that's true, and the tone that, of voice you have sounds like you think this is ridiculous. No, no, I'm taking this very seriously. All right, all right. Very seriously. Principal Weathers, question. go ahead and ask. Thank now, you for trying to educate thank yourself. You. Thank you. I appreciate you 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 saying that. 
Now, when um, when you meet someone who was a twin, but uh, might have uh, 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 killed their twin in in utero, did do you see that as a betrayal of twins, or do you no. do you say, well, well, they were in their mother? It's it's twin discrimination. That's the system that's telling them that's they had to that they had to starve or utero. choke their but other twins. But here's here's the thing: we 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 don't. We don't hate on them because mm-hmm. we understand that mm-hmm. it's it's really a lack of self worth that makes you want to kick another person out of the uterus you share. Oh, so you're saying that the the uh, the, uh, the twin uh, who in, lived, the, yes, the, the twin who lived mm-hmm. was insecure as a <laughs> fetus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It, these are things that affect us throughout our entire lives. You could, you know, how you can play Mozart for a baby that's in utero. Yes, and, and it it helps brain development. And yes, stuff? we did that with with both of my children. Yep, yep. And uh, well, other things get through there too, including twin discrimination. Mm-hmm. Oh, you ever think twin. about? So sometimes a twin in the womb is like, I don't want to be born into a world with that much hate. That's a twin in the womb and a twin in the tomb. Now, can I ask you another question? Of course. Are those movies where one actor is playing both twins, is that offensive to you? Yeah. Do you think that twins should be playing twins? It is is pretty problematic, if I'm being honest. Yeah. It's like, why can't you look out into the world? There's plenty of twins around who could play this authentically. Yeah, there are some twin actors and twin uh, uh, comedians I've seen on television. And the worst part about it is, just make them fraternal twins. How many times do you get to see fraternal twins in media? Never. Well, I th- Never. They, I, usually the plot of the movie is very uh, crucially tied to the fact that they are identical because, twins. Because the, twins are just a spectacle to people. People think, oh, twins, mm. time for entertainment. Well, it's also a beautiful plot device, I mean, if we're being honest. I don't know if I, I would people. describe it as beautiful so much as I'd describe it as hateful. Mm. Beautiful? You said beautiful, right? Just now? I said it's a plot device. It's, I think you said a beautiful pro- plot device. I mean, it it, uh, it can be used to create unique comical situations. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure racial segregation could have been a beautiful plot device at one point too, but it's still hateful and bad. I mean, you you make a very strong argument. I must say, I feel like I I feel like I did something wrong there by comparing our situation to that. Uh, yeah, I'd say ours is like. I'd it like puts to apologize to anybody really? to anybody else who could hear me uh, I, make that comment. I don't want to discuss whether or not any comparison of any two things is ever offensive. I'm not sure I follow <laughs> that. Could you run that back? Once again, I get a lot of calls from parents that are uh, say they're very upset. They've been watching television and they're upset and they call me and they're comparing uh, this thing to that thing. Oh, terrible things. Mm-hmm. I just don't want to engage in it. All right. So can we go or? Well, no, I mean, we need to do something. <laughs> okay. I mean, what have we, we su- been doing? We suggested the unisex bathroom. No, that's not what I mean. I mean about the property damage. I think you're going to have to go to summer school. And All you're right. going to have to work. Hell yeah, we go to summer school. No, you're going to do work with the custodial staff. Wait, yeah. we got a, with the so same we, custodian that left the, the keys in the, the bulldozer? bulldozer? Yes, but don't right. take advantage of him. If we're working with the custodial staff, does that mean we get our own ring of keys? Yeah. No. Why? You seem to be sweating a lot, Principal Weathers. Well, Pretty I profusely. Am. Yes. Thank you for noticing. I'm a very perceptive person. You're so perceptive, Gary. Here, Thank you, Mary. Here's the thing, Principal Weathers. I just wanted to say... That we accept you for who you are. Mm-hmm. And we just ask that you accept us for who I we do. are. I do. And that you accept I the other to. students. You do or you want to. <laughs> well, They're different. I, I, well, I, I felt like.
like maybe it was uh, presumptuous for me to say I do, because perhaps you feel as though I do not. Well, actions do speak louder than words, Principal Weathers. You know, there's a there's a big gap between uh, rejection mm-hmm. and affirmation. Yes. And uh, tolerance and acceptance both fit in there, but neither of them feel as good as being actually affirmed for who you are. Affirmed. Yeah. Hey, guys, I'm... I'm sorry. I know this conversation's moved on, but I still really regret saying that thing about racial segregation earlier. It was a bad call. And it's not the same. Gary, Gary, I love that you always put things into perspective. It's not the same. The twin discrimination epidemic is bad. It's not the same. But it's like a 21st century problem. I didn't feel like I should say it's not the same. I feel like... uh, your parents who uh, call in about the unisex bathrooms yes. may not understand there's a difference, so we want to just put on the record. Yeah, on the record, not all things are... Uh, we don't have to compare each other's pain. No. That's, it's not a hierarchy of pain. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. That's another poster I have on like, the wall. It's yeah. not a hierarchy of pain. Weirdly enough, there's there's it's in a pyramid shape. It's true. And it, it's got pain, list, like different types of pain lift, listed on the bottom yes. to the top. It's true. And, I mean, and that is a hierarchy of pain, but it says that, that it's not. Oh. And Mr. It's Weathers. Like that, oh, you're right. You, you probably also have some understanding of what pain is like. I bet you get discriminated all the time for that mustache and tiny hat. What? <laughs> Why would I get discriminated against for my mustache and tiny hat? Well, it's hilarious. What do you mean? Just it's not a, everyone just, has a mustache it's that a, twirly. It's a big twirly mustache and a Little very I small I hat. don't put wax in it. It just grows that way in a twirl. Did the propeller just grow that way on your hat? No, this was my father's hat. Well, this, this was my father's hat and and he he gave it to me when he died and so I, I I swore that I would wear it every day. Okay. Uh, it, it, well, thanks for that that backstory. Yeah, we weren't we weren't saying. <clears throat> we were just trying to find a point of empathy with you. Commonality. So you found my pain. Is it Still your pain? It's pain. It's part of my pain. Your what's, voice did break a little bit. What's the other part of your pain? <laughs> What do you mean? Well, you're asking a lot of very intimate questions. Well, it seems like you want that. You won't let us leave your office. We've just been in well, here no, a while, and I feel like we're I, really getting well, down to I the... I feel I need to punish you, and you come in here and you turn the tables, and I'm feeling vulnerable. And... Is it possible, Principal Weathers, that you actually feel like you should punish yourself? Is what? there some deep, dark secret in your past that's been weighing you down? And What do you mean? You've been projecting on poor what? little high school children? I'm not projecting. You do cause damage. All that's right? True. This is not... You See, you're very clever. You're very clever. You come in here. You, you, you turn the tables. But I've had enough. You're going to summer school. You're working with the custodial staff. And you're cleaning up the damn mess that you made. You understand? Yes, Principal Weathers. Yes, Principal All right. Weathers. All right. Now go back to class. Uh, well, the his it was it's not there anymore. So yeah. What do you mean? The, the his we had history. We, we had history, but we destroyed it. How's the bulldozed room? All right. Well, just I mean. We could stay here. We could just, yeah, we could just. I know. I want to. I want you to leave my office. I don't know. No, we're still handcuffed to the chairs. Yeah. Oh, you... damn it! All right. Well, you know what? Before I say, it, I don't want to divulge any information. I feel like you two are clever little devils. I'm being honest right now. I think you're clever little devils, and anything I say, you're gonna take and you're gonna twist and you're gonna ruin me. So I'm gonna leave. I'm going to leave. All right. All right. Thank you very much for listening to that episode of audio-based content. You can catch my guest, Secret Handshake, this Sunday, August 11th at Third Coast Comedy Club at 7 p.m.
You can catch me also this Sunday at Third Coast Comedy Club at 6 p.m. in the Third Coast Lab. And Thursday, August 15th, we're doing a live recording of audio-based content at 9 p.m. with special guests Heather Hull, Dylan Davis, Clark Davis, no relation, and Dan Farrell. It's going to be a great show, so come out to Third Coast Comedy Club August 15th at 9 p.m. As always, you can see my art and comics and whatnot at A-A-R-O-N-Z-V-I-F-E-L-D-E-R.com. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe, rate, and review.